So we're nearing the end of October, which means that Halloween is almost upon us. And I wanted to do something big for this. I wanted to look at a special game that fits the occasion. And I thought to myself, what better way to celebrate Halloween than with one of the most highly regarded horror games of the last 10 years? What game am I talking about? The original Fear. So the first question we have to ask ourselves is, what is fear? Fear is a choice. No, no, they're not like that. I meant, what kind of game is fear? So at its core, fear is a typical first-person shooter that combines action and horror elements into one experience. The gameplay is that of a typical FPS. You go through a variety of levels while fighting enemies with a reasonably large selection of guns. There's nothing terribly exciting about that, but the game has two distinct features that help it to stand out from the crowd a little bit. The first and most obvious of those is a slow motion mechanic, which is pretty self-explanatory. It allows the player to press a button to literally slow down time, allowing you to line up headshots on your foes or get out of a sticky situation if you find your health to be low. It's not a game changer, but it's really cool and can almost make the game feel like a John Woo action movie at times. It, it's a lot of fun to mess around with. The other major distinguishing feature is the game's extremely intelligent AI, which was pretty much revolutionary when it came out. The AI in this game is very smart. They will flank your position, they make great use of cover, they'll suppress you with gunfire and grenades, they're not afraid to try and reposition to get a better angle, and at times they even seem to communicate, calling out your position so that their allies can try and get a better shot at you. For the time, the AI was fantastic, and it still holds up pretty well today. The other major component of this game is the horror aspect, which is a pretty big part of this game. Now, when it first came out, fear was absolutely terrifying. It was one of the scariest games around. And the whole story centered on the character of Alma, this little girl who kind of stalks the player through the whole game. She was, she was terrifying when this game first came out. There's something very unnerving about this little girl that can wipe out entire squads of highly trained soldiers literally by looking at them and, and thinking really hard. It really does get intense at times. And of course, her, the creepiness of that character is helped out by the atmosphere, which gives a good creepy vibe and makes the player feel very isolated. Even when you're hearing other players talking to you and even when you're engaging with other characters, you just feel alone in the game, which is a big part of what makes it so scary. You always feel isolated, like there's absolutely nothing between you and the next threat that wants to kill you. And all of that was helped out by the then fantastic graphics and lighting and the really strong sound design, which really helps to pull players in and get you really engaged so that the next big jump scare just has you jumping straight out of your chair. When it came out, Fear was... There weren't very many games around that were as scary as Fear. So as you can probably tell, when Fear came out, it was very well received. And deservedly so, for the time it was a great game. It had really strong gameplay but was scary enough to keep you on edge. It had excellent AI, better than almost anything else out at the time. And the game looked great when it came out. In fact, it was one of the best looking games around at the time. Which was also one of the biggest issues with the game upon release. The graphics were actually so demanding for the time that a lot of people couldn't play it. It needed a very high-end PC to run, and a lot of people didn't have a PC capable of it. Unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, you, you certainly don't have to worry about that now. That's not to say that the game has aged poorly. It's still a pretty good game, but it's certainly not as good as it was when it first came out. And the most obvious thing that hasn't aged well are the graphics. You certainly won't need a top-of-the-line PC to run this game anymore. 
Now, to be fair, it is hardly realistic to expect the game to look as good now as it did back in 2006. But it doesn't change the fact that the game just looks dated by today's standards. Textures are flat and environments are a little bit barren, but the big issue with the game's graphics nowadays are the character models, which just look oddly angular and blocky. They have flat faces, their elbows are a little too pointed, and their animations are just a little too stiff and clunky to look natural. The character models are, are, are pretty jarring. They have not aged well. And speaking of animation issues, it also holds true for the player character and can be a bit of a distraction during combat. See, Fear was one of the few games out at the time that actually allowed the player to see their character model in first person, which meant when you looked down, you could actually see the rest of your character's body. And while I do have to applaud them for being one of the only teams to go that extra step and implement that, it caused a few issues with animations in first person, especially crouching, as when the player crouched, there was often a little bit of a delay between when the camera lowered to the appropriate level and when your body actually followed you, resulting in a split second where your arms kind of look like they're floating, dislocated a couple feet above your body. It doesn't really break anything, but it's noticeable and can be distracting and can certainly break the immersion that they're going for in the game. Aside from that, the game's dated visuals have also caused some issues with the horror. Basically, what I mean by that is that the game just isn't very scary anymore. A lot of, a lot of the horror aspect of a game revolves around it looking the part and really being able to pull you in. And animation glitches like that and the, the awkward, stiff character models and the, the simple, kind of low-res textures by today's standards really serve to kind of pull you out of that a little bit. And again, it, you can't blame the game or the developers. The game looked amazing when it came out. Games have simply evolved from that and just look better by today's standards. And unfortunately, it means the game just isn't very scary anymore. That's not to say it doesn't still have its parts where it's tense, and it did still certainly have a few jump scare moments that still that still got to me a little bit, but it it's not what it used to be. And that's through no fault of the developers. It's just the nature of video games, and especially first-person shooters, which have always been extremely competitive with their graphics. So does Fear still feel like the masterpiece of horror that it was back in 2006 when it came out? Yes and no. On the one hand, parts of it just haven't aged very well. While the game looked amazing and was terrifying when it first came out, first-person shooters have just moved past what they were capable of back then. It just doesn't look very good anymore, and as a result, it just isn't very scary anymore. On top of that, the combat mechanics can feel a little bit stiff and slow by today's standards, but nothing too bad. And on the plus side, overall the gameplay still holds up very well. The story is surprisingly interesting, a little cliched here and there, and the characters aren't anything really worth mentioning, but the backstory that you can find while exploring the levels is surprisingly engaging and goes a long way towards pulling you into this game's world. And the most impressive thing is still the game's AI, which is better than many games out on the market right now. Ultimately, if you're interested in Fear, it's aged well enough that I can certainly still recommend you giving it a look, especially given that you can find it for under $10 at most places. That said, you need to go into it with tempered expectations. If you expect to be blown away by a phenomenal horror experience like people were eight years ago, you're going to be disappointed. But if you go into it knowing that it's eight years old and adjusting your expectations accordingly, you're going to have a good time. It's still a good game. It's just not quite what it was back in 2006. So that's all for this video. If you have any comments, of course, let me know down in the comments section below, like you do. 
If you have any suggestions for a video for me to talk about in this segment or in another segment, once again, let me know. I'm always open to you guys' suggestions. And as always, I am Alabman98, or Alec if you prefer, and I will see you guys in another video very soon. Thanks for watching.